Hi, welcome back to the microcontroller course. In this video, I will show you uh, what is an analog to digital conversion modules in a microcontroller, and we will try to program using an ADC module to read an analog signal into a microcontroller. Now we started. As you know, that uh, we have already learned about the I/O modules. That is, it will convert any signal if it is five volts. It will translate into a RAMs one bit in a RAMs for logic ones. And if you place zero volt into that pins into an I/O pins, it will convert to zeros logics. So it use one bit here in the RAMs. In a microcontroller, there is a, another hardware module called the ADC modules, where it convert in a range. For example, here, it convert from zero to five. You can place any volts between the zeros and five, and ADC modules or the hardware here inside the microcontroller will convert or will translate into a range of uh, a, a multi-bit value. For example, here uh, in the 16F microcontrollers, it will use 10 bit to store or to keep the values of the conversion from the ADC modules. So it will convert, uh, for example, 5 volt here into uh, 10 bits, it means uh, the value should be 1000 and 23 here, and it will convert 0 volt into 0. So it use not only 1 bit but 10 bits to store the values. Actually, the ADC module it has a reference voltage where 5 volt here is actually the reference voltage. That means you can place any voltage uh, into the ADC modules and it will get the conversion. And the result will be uh, keep in multiple bit in the RAMs where we call it the re resolution. For example, I have uh, 5 ohm as a reference voltage and the, res uh, the resolution is uh, 10 bit. So 10 bit, that means 100 uh, 1023 step okay so, so it start from zero and the maximum value is one 1023 okay so if we place at the ADC pins as uh, 2.5 volt then the result okay in this case the result should be the volt x multiplied by the maximum resolutions then it divide by the reference voltage here, so you get you will got the result value stored in a RAMs. So back to the example x 2.5, and then multiply by the maximum of uh, 10 bit, then divide by the reference voltage 5, then we got here 511. Okay, another example we have, uh, for example, uh, 1.5 at the uh, ADC pin, then we got the result of 1.5 multiplied by 1023 divided by 5. So we got here the result is uh, 306. Why we have the ADC modules? Because there are some device or some components, some electronics device that output a analog signals. For example, here a sensor from sharp manufacturers. It output a range of uh, output voltage here from uh, somewhere 2.7 or something here to 0.5. Okay, so we place an object in front of the sensor and according to the distance from the sensor to the object, it will output, it will generate a voltage to the output pins according to uh, the data sheet here. For example, you place an object in front of the sensor uh, of uh, 
50 centimeters okay 50 centimeter here all right then it will generate um, 1.25 or something volt at the output voltage so we connect the sensors here into the ADC modules and then we will read the values that already convert from the volt to the value store in the RAMs and then we calculate back the uh, sense the distance from the sensors to an object for example after connect the sensor here to the microcontrollers and then place an object somewhere in front of the sensor uh, I will read the, the signal of ADC as 310 so what is the distance from the sensor to the objects so now we take the first step we trans we convert or we calculate the ADC value here back to the phone and then we look up at the data sheet here for the distance okay so I want to open my calculators so we have here the ADC is 3 all right 310 and then we divide by 1023 okay and then the reference voltage is 5 oops uh, the value here is the reference here is 3.2 okay and then the result is 1 okay so we have the value volt here place at the pins as 1 volt okay 1 volt here so 1 volt then we have to look at here okay 1 volt here so here we look up at the data sheet it should be 63 or something okay that is around 63 centimeters okay so that's uh, how we do it so we read the signal and then we calculate the distance okay or we estimate the distance actually uh, another example for the LM35 is a temperature sensor it will output as the uh, signal for one degrees one degrees here it will change 10 millivolts so if I place the sensor and connect it to the microcontrollers to the ADC motor and then I will I read the signal here a as 310 so what is the temperatures we can do the calculation again all right then uh, 310 okay we divide by 023 okay and then we multiply by five okay five now i have the reference voltage as five then the result is 1.52 so 1.52 is volt and then 10 millivolts is one degree so i take it as uh, multiply by 100 okay it's a uh, 151.5 degrees something okay so that's how we use the ADC modules in reading a signal from a device in the microcontrollers a hardware modules something like this okay in a microcontrollers if we read in the data sheet uh, the ADC modules is something like this okay take a look at it so the principle here is has a reference selection so you want the default values it will take the reference as the VDDs or 5 volt in the 16F microcontrollers or it have the reference pins if you would like then you select it here okay you can take a look at the datasheet for pin diagrams and then you look at uh, where is the reference pins all right here right here okay so right here is uh, reference pins as a pin number 18 okay that's it 
The second thing is it may have many pins connected to the ADC hardware here and then you will select the pins connected to the ADC circuits uh, through the selecting circuits here or you select it as a CHS bit from 4 to 0 bit. Uh, the third one in the circuit is the the pulse or the clocks for the ADC modules. So as you know, ADCs need a pulse or a clock. Actually, it's many clocks to take the conversion from the analog world to the digital world. So it has a generator or a clock dividers here. If you put the um, faster clock, you got the uh, result faster. Okay, if you may take it slower, then you got the slower but more accurate. The four things in the uh, ADC uh, circuits is the controlling uh, circuits for when will you want to be translated or want to read the signal. It controlled by some bit in the RAM, it's called the go-downs, or you can start reading the ADC, start running the ADC uh, from some auto-conversion triggers, from timers or something. Okay, and the last part is the resound. So we have here the 10 bits resound. And uh, the 16F microcontrollers, it only calculate 8 bit at a time so it's divided into the high and the low uh, ADC resound here okay so it will start the 10 bits resound and the last one is the AD on or uh, 1 bit in the RAM that control or enables the ADC modules here okay take a look at uh, how is the microcontrollers uh, start the conversion so you enable it while by uh, uh, take the AD on bit okay and then you wait a little bit to start the circuit and then you start it by set the bit go up or set it to 1 and then the conversion start here it take uh, 1 2 3 4 5 or several pulls of the ADC pulls and then when it is completed uh, translated the result will load it to the register and the goal bit is clear and the flag AD flag is set okay that is finished then uh, the uh, result is stored in RAMs. there are two types for storing a result so you store it here or you store at a lower bit okay these are the summarized of the registers that associate with the ADC. So basically we have the AC control 0, 1 and 2. Okay. And we have the select the pins. Okay. For enables uh, for enables the uh, pins that connect to the ADC modules here. And select analog selects or cell A, cell B and cell C. Okay. Uh, this you can read more detail in the data sheets for the uh, register here okay for what is uh, the meanings of every bit in the RAMs okay we can take a look at here okay for example here the ADC con 0 so it has many bits here so CS S 4 to 0 Okay, this means you select the analog zeros. This means you select the analog one. Okay, this is the analog select bit. Okay, I can open the beans diagrams for you to look at uh, where is the analog one. Okay, right here, the pins uh, 19. Okay, as is it also. RA zeros, the digital RA zero. All right. <clears throat> then, if you want to program the ADC module reading the value, you uh, have to follow the data sheet. Here is in examples. I have uh, the 
integer values are variable here. I declare it's a ADC0 result variable. It has to be 16 bits to store 10 bits. Okay. And then I, assist, uh, I set the trees as one as input. Okay. I want to read the value. And then uh, the end cells as one because I select the ADC function, not the IO function. And I disable the pull up register. And I set the AD control one, control two, and control zeros as here. Uh, this one you have to look up at the dataset for the values or the meanings of every bit in a, a register here. For example, I select conversion clock, the voltage reference, the triggers, uh, analog channels, and then I start enables the AD on here. Then I have to wait for a little bit for the uh, modules to start, and then I set the goal bit to one to start the conversion then i wait for it to uh, clear by the hardware or by the adc circuits okay when it's complete then uh, i take the result into the variable okay uh, let's check it uh, in the programming okay i have here the adc zeros channel zeros connected to a potential matters where if i play i uh, change the uh, the value the the signal here the output being here it will generate a voltage changing okay then i output it uh, the uh, adc into a uh, port c with uh, another two bit from port b okay then I go back to the programming. I can copy it. All right, this one. So take. All right, that's it. The result, okay. And then the conversion, okay. And then they go down here. So I want to make it repeat, okay. Then I put it in a while loops here. Then, now I got the um, delay defined, okay, for the crystal. All right. And then I declare a lot C, a zero, nope, trees, C, a zero, trees, B bit dot RC six zero for output and another seven for output. Okay, then I can have my lot C as the ADC zero result. Okay, it's only the first eight bit. Okay. Okay, we have the programs. We take the first eight bits into a large C, and then we take the bit number nine to the uh, large B six, and bit number ten to large B seven. Okay, we translate it. All right, and then we check the programs right here. ADC demos. Okay. Translated. All right. Now we have here three point four. Okay, three point four. Then I open the calculator. Three point four. Okay. Then uh, it's divide by five as the reference point, uh, and then uh, multiply by one zero two three. Okay. All right, and then. The value here is 695, okay, 695, it's round up one point here, okay, it's round up one point here, so the values is 696, okay, it's the right value, okay.
and we got it we take another example for example we take 2d 50% for 2.5 okay 2.5 then 2.5 divide by 5 okay then multiply to these 1023 okay is 511 okay 511 okay then the result should be oops okay then it's correct right so you got here the programs to changing any value okay you can see it any value into a a numbers okay that's it we have how to programs a idc adc modules but it's in the data sheet here to look up is uh, is not very easy in the microcontrollers they have another modules it's called the mcc or mblab x code configurators we i will explain it to the next video thank you and see you next videos